I took this beautiful fabric panel and turned it into a kaleidoscope quilt. And here's how you can do it. Okay, so we started with a panel that was 23 inches square. But the next part of this is we're gonna cut this into three inch strips. And to make this even, I trimmed some of this off on each of the edges. So right now I've got a 21 inch square. I can get seven nice strips out of this. That's the next piece. But before we do that, I want you to see, there are six identical panels here stacked on top of each other. It's very important that you get them exactly stacked correctly. I've pinned in certain areas. I started this pin, for example, right in the special place between the leaf and the flower. And I literally looked under every single layer to make sure that I was lined up. That's so important on this part. Once you've got all six layers lined up perfectly, we're gonna start cutting the three inch strips. Okay, so now we have three inch strips. I've got seven of them. I set the others aside for now. What I'm gonna do with each strip is I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut them into triangles. Oh, and before we go further, put a new blade in your rotary cutter. You are cutting through six layers of fabric here. It's very important. Here's my three inch strip. I'm going to cut it three inch triangles. This is a 60 degree ruler. Each angle is 60 degrees. That's very important. Now I'm gonna find my three inch mark. I'm gonna start on one end here. That looks right. This little end we won't use, but look, turn this over, find your three inch mark. We're gonna do this to all the layers. Remember, we've still got more strips. All these strips have to be cut into triangles. I think I'm gonna have about 77 triangles when it's all done. The order of these right now does not matter. I'm gonna just stack them in alternating ways here. Keep all six layers together. That's very important. Go ahead and cut the rest of this up and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we just cut out our triangles. That whole panel turned into 77 sets of triangles and each triangle has six layers to it. So what we wanna do next is we wanna lay these out in a hexagon shape. We're not gonna sew a full hexagon yet. First, I want you to see what these could look like. Okay, so if we did a hexagon out of this one, we could have it look like this, or every time you rotate these, you're gonna create a new design, which is kind of cool because every one of these stacks has three different hexagon possibilities to it. So when I put those together, I'm like, that's very interesting. I think I'm gonna do this one. Now, what we are not going to do is we're not gonna sew a full hexagon together. We're only gonna do halves. So I'm gonna separate these halves here from here. And I'm gonna start by folding this over, right sides together. We're gonna to do a quarter inch seam allowance right here. After each one, you wanna just press it quickly to set the seam. And I wanna press this seam open. The next part of this is we're gonna sew this one to this. Now, when you flip this over, what you wanna do is match up your outer corner here. We're not gonna match up the inner corner at all because that's been sewn together, so it's got a seam allowance in it. Fold this over, match our outer corner right here, and we're gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance down this way. And again, we're gonna press this real quick to set the seam, and we are going to open this seam allowance up as well and press it. It's a lot of pressing and it's a lot of sewing, but the end result is gonna be worth it, you'll see. All right, so now I have my half, half hexy done, and I'm gonna do that other half hexagon as well. Now, when we're finished, I'm gonna show you. This is one of the hexagons that I just recently did. We're only going to pin the two halves together. I'm just gonna lay one over the other and pin them here and set them aside. You can see the piles I'm starting to make. I'm separating the colors out because when we get to the design phase of this, it's helpful to say, oh, I might need some greens here, some blues here. So continue doing this with all of your triangles. It's a lot of sewing, but just be patient and it'll look great in the end, I promise. Now is the fun part. We have 77 of these hexagons. And remember, they're half hexagons. We've pinned the halves together. But this is a design wall. You can put it on your wall or hang it from your doorway and these things will stick to it. But I prefer to just lay it out on a table because it takes me a lot longer to lay these out. You want these in a random pattern. So I'm gonna just start laying them out any way you like. There is no wrong way to do this. Make sure your pins continue to run in the same direction. That's gonna help you later on because we're gonna unpin these. And once we get a nice pattern, 
we're gonna start sewing all these together. So this is the next phase. It's design. It can be whatever you want. I can put all the dark greens on one end and the blues on another. I'm gonna do these randomly because I think all the colors involved here, they'll look beautiful together. So arrange your, arrange your quilt design next, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, I've settled on the design. This is gonna be it. I love it. I laid all these out, and if you'll notice on the ends here, I have some half hexes hanging over my edge. Now on the opposite end, I've got one, two, three, four, five empty spaces for a half hexy. So I'm gonna unpin these and move these half hexagons to those spaces to give us a good edge on both sides. Then we're gonna remove all the pins and then we'll start sewing. Okay, all the pins are out. Next part we're gonna do is start to sew strips, one long strip at a time. Sew these strips separately, and then we're going to piece them together by twos. After we piece them together by twos, we'll piece them together by fours and so on. Now, important thing, this is our first strip that we're gonna sew together. When I flip this over here and put right sides together, I want this corner to match up with the little dog ear that's sticking out of this one. You may not be able to see that. But when we do and fold it back, it's gonna be exactly what we need. Same with this one. When I fold this over here, putting right sides together, I want this corner to match the end of the little dog ear out here at the edge. That's where I will sew my seam. I'm gonna do this all the way down the row. Now I'm just going to pick them up like this in order because that's the order that I'm going to sew them together. And after you sew this strip together, press all of the seams open, use a steam iron and get these nice and flat. We're just gonna do this on every single row and we're gonna start putting this together. So we went from this to this beautiful kaleidoscope quilt. Listen, there are endless possibilities with quilting and you can make up your own rules as you go along.